teach you a little bit about yourself, brother. Let me teach you who you are according to the Bible. Because it's time for our people to work up. It's time for our people to change. It's time for our people to know how God intended them to be. So now you go to the book of Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Come on. Let me teach you a little bit about yourself. All right? So it's the book of us, chapter 3 and verse 19. Uh -huh. Repent ye therefore, uh -huh. and be converted. So the most I say is repent. Now is the time for the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians to repent. Repent means to change. How you was currently living is wrong according to God. And how you're going to know that? Is by you going into God's laws, statutes, and commandments, and hearing what are you doing right, and what are you doing wrong, and fixing it, changing. So read it again. Repent ye therefore and be converted. What are we being converted to? God's laws. Right. That's what we're being converted to. God's laws. That's right. Because a lot of old people, as you see them walking out right now, for example, get me Leviticus 21 and 5. Just hold that, we're coming right back. The scripture says, repent and be what? Converted. What do we need to be converted to? God's laws. I'm going to show you why I'm telling you that. Because a lot of our brothers, I'm seeing a lot of our brothers passing here on the street and they are breaking a lot of God's laws. And because we are breaking God's laws, the result is we are cursed. God put a set of curses upon us. Come on. The book of Leviticus, chapter uh -huh. 21 and verse 5. Yeah? We they shall not make baldness upon thy head. So we're not supposed to make baldness upon our head. You know, military ball. Come on. Neither shall they shave off the colors of their beard. A lot of our brothers walking along with their beards shaved, looking like a baby face. Very smooth, very fine. It's a law for our people to have beards, our men to have beards. That's a law. So you need to be converted to that law. You understand? Grow your beard, brother. You understand? That's a law for our, our people, for our brothers, the men, the alpha parents. It, your beard is a, sig um, um, a sign of manly dignity, all right? right. That's what your beard represents, right. a sign of manly dignity, all right? So go back to Acts chapter 2, verse 19. Come on. This is the book of us, chapter 3, Brother, verse sisters over there, do you know your nationality according to the Bible? Where do you, where do you come from? Come on. We, yeah, brother, where do you come from? You also from Ghana? From where? Mali. 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 Also, the people, Mali, Chad, all of there. Come on. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So, brother, come learn about your nationality. According to the, ba the Bible, you're not from Mali. All right? <laughs> Only French. Oh, sorry. But come take a flyer. Come on. <laughs> hey, brother, brother. Listen, listen, listen. Don't get distracted. Come on, listen. Come on, repent ye therefore, uh -huh. and be converted. So the most I said, be converted to what? Uh -huh. That your sins may be blotted out. Because what is sin? They say that your sins may be blotted out. Go to 1 John 3 and 4. What is sin, brother? Do you know what sin according to the Bible? What sin? Bro. Amen. If you teach your brother it's a sin, Okay, all right. Ah, uh, now you're bringing out sin. So let's let's give you the example of what um let's give you the understanding of what sin is. The book of First John, chapter three and verse four. Come on, read. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. So the sin means sin is the breaking of God's law, statute, commandments. For example, I started off with one law, meaning what you need to have a beard. Your beard is shaving. Other brothers, their beard are shaving. Meaning what? You're in sin. Because you're breaking that law. Alright? So our people need to be converted to God's law. Sin is the transgression of God's law. Go back to Acts 2 and 19 now. Read it again from the top. You know why I'm not reading too fast, brother? Because I want the information to sink in your mind. I want when you leave here that you grasp the understanding of what you've got today. And you say, hmm. Am I really following God? Am I really obeying Him? That's what I want you to understand. Read. The book of us, chapter 3, and verse 19. Come on. Repent ye therefore. So the most I said to change. Come on. And be converted. And be converted to what? Be converted to God's laws. Come on. That your sins 
may be blotted out. Exactly, because currently a lot of our people are doing what? Breaking God's laws, therefore they are in sin. And our job here today is to show our people what sins they are in and how to change that. So what? The wrath of God, the curses, the judgments of God can come off of us. For example, I see that bag in your hand. Did you go outside and buy it today? Did you come from the shop today? Yeah? Were you buying something today in the shop? Do you know what today is? Today is the Sabbath. Give me Exodus 20 and 8. Today is the Sabbath. We're going to show you some more laws that you need to keep. You understand? Our job is to build you up. I'm going to teach you, brother. You, are, you come from the, one of the greatest, greatest nation on the planet. We are the greatest people on the planet. Do you know that? I'm going to show you. Come on. Exodus, so book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. But first, I'm going to start with your conversion. Because now you know you are Israelite, right? According to the Bible. You know how you got the name Gamaliel, right? Yeah. Because they put that thing upon you. You just continue from your heritage. Now I'm going to teach you now what you need to get right with God. How you need to get right. Right? Come on. Exodus chapter 20, I'm going to say, mm -hmm. Remember the Sabbath day. So the Moses said, Remember the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day is from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Come on. To keep it holy. To keep it holy. Come on. Six days. Shall thou labor uh -huh. and do all thy work. So six days you're supposed to labor. From Sunday all the way to Friday, Sunday, we're supposed to work. Come on. But the seventh day uh -huh. is the day of the Lord thy God. Brother, do you know your nationality? Huh? Where do you come from? Me, me, I'm from Guinea. Guinea. Voila, ah, Guinea. Guinea, right? Okay. Is Guinea in the Bible? Just stand there for a second. Just stand there for a second. I'm going to teach you a little bit about your history. Come on. Read. But the seventh day is the day. Uh -huh. It's the Sabbath of the Lord. It's the Sabbath of the Lord. You can take a flyer. Yes. No, no. You can take one. Take one flyer. Take one in English. Come on. Read. In, in a thou shalt do no any work. Exactly. So the first law on the Sabbath is we're not supposed to work. A lot of our people are working on the Sabbath. You understand? All right, let's go to um, do, um, Ma 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 Nehemiah chapter 10. Don't worry, don't worry with the heathen. They're always going to be like that. Nehemiah chapter 10. Yes, brother, come. You can come and take a flyer, read in your own time. Come on. That's one law. So the first law is we must not work on the Sabbath. Now let's get the law that you broke. Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 31. Come on. This is the book of Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. Come on. And if the people of the land bring glory or any victuals, on the Sabbath day to sell. Uh -huh. So meaning any goods, any products on the Sabbath to sell, where you might be your shops, it might be your markets that open up that selling fish. Come on. Mm -hmm. That we will not buy. Yes. That we will what? That we will not buy eight of them on the Sabbath. So you're not allowed to buy and sell on the Sabbath. You understand that, brother? We are not allowed to buy and sell on the Sabbath. Why is it? That every Friday and every Saturday, everything is less expensive. Because your enemies read your records. Your enemies understand if we keep your arm, the children of Israel in sin, God will not fight for us. You understand that, brother? Teacher. Read it again. Do the arm, um, Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. That book of Nehemiah chapter 10, and verse 31. Read. And in the purple of the land. Bring worries or any vision, so any products, any Sabbath goods, day. any products and any goods. Come on, read anything that you can think about that you have to leave your house to go and buy. Anything that you think, any necessity that's what it's going into. If you say, Oh, uh, I need a new pair of shoes, you leave today and go and buy a new pair of shoes that falls into buying and selling on the Sabbath. If you say, Hey, uh, my baby need a new pair of diapers when you know you're gonna buy a, a box of diapers yesterday. That falls into buying and selling on the Sabbath. All right? If you say, for example, oh, there's no more sugar in the house. I need sugar to make tea. Hey, that's also buying and selling on the Sabbath. All right? Read. That we will not buy any of them on the Sabbath. Uh huh. Or on the holiday. Uh huh. That we will, that we will leave the seventh okay. year. Stop. So our next law on the Sabbath is you're not supposed to buy or sell. 
What's the first law? I want to see if you're learning. What's the first law on the Sabbath? No, no. The first law I brought up, that's the second law. What's the first law of the Sabbath you're not supposed to do? Let me see if you're paying attention. I don't want to just run through a bunch of scriptures and then at the end you're like, uh, I don't know. What's the first law of the Sabbath? All right, that's buying and selling. But what's the first law? Yeah, that's good. That's the second law. You got the second law. But what's the first law I read to you? Six days? The week you should do what? No, you have to work. And the seventh day, which is the Sabbath, you're not supposed to? You're not supposed to work. So explain me the first two laws again. We should work. We should not work on Saturday. Or if you want something, don't go on Saturday and go and buy. All right. So you got the first two laws. All praises. Get a better round of applause. You're paying attention. Thank you. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.